skies for amber waves of gray for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain America America Shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Oh, beautiful for heroes proved in this. Attention, please. If I could have your attention, please. We started. If you saw me frantically writing notes, it's because the guest speaker could not make it. So I tried to make a couple of notes. I might call on Scott. I might call on anybody. I don't know who I'll call on. <laughs> but that's really what I might want to speak about. I can call on anybody here. Uh, <clears throat> Daniel, appreciate the, <clears throat> the music. Start us out. Uh, we are not just pleased but honored to have Union High School ROTC to present the flag ceremony this morning. So, uh, Mr. Douglas, we're going to Would you please stand? Oh. Oh! 
Thank you, <clears throat> thank you, fellas. I ask friend and neighbor, Vietnam vet Malachi Rogers, to open with prayer. Find the cover. Let us pray. He told an all wise father, it's again we come to say thank you. Thank you for this blessed day that you have blessed us with. Each time we come together, we are reminded that freedom is not free. It took the blood, sweat, and tears of our brothers and sisters. Oh God, we come now to say thank you for those that gave the ultimate sacrifice. As we say in our slogan, some gave all, all gave some, and some still do. Oh God, we come praying that you continue to look on us with an eye of pity, a heart of tender and humble compassion. See what manner we are calling on your name in. Oh God, if you find anything like sin, hatred, malice, or indifference looking about our hearts, we pray, oh God, that you'll cast it into the sea of forgiveness, that it will not frighten us when we come to press a dying pillar or rise up against us during the time of judgment. We come praying, dear Master, uh, for our speaker, the one that's going to break unto us the bread of life and remind us and let us know that there were some that gave all. And Master, we're going to be big enough to say, let your will be done. On earth as it is in glory, we'll be careful to give your name to praise, the glory, and all of the honor. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. We're also fortunate to have Daniel Prince not only do the national anthem, but he's going to do a, a song before that, too. Daniel? Join me as we uh, sing our national anthem this morning. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars. saw me writing furiously because I learned that the speaker was not going to be able to make it, so I'm going to try to fill in a little bit. <coughs> it's pretty hard for me to stand in front of this monument and know that when I was a kid, I walked by here every day to school. I played on them. I did not really understand what they meant. But we now, or I now know, from my adult life, what they mean. They mean that in this country, 1.3 million citizens have given their lives. 
<clears throat> for our freedom. Yeah, Try, and I'm not much of a mathematician, but if I was trying to do a little clumps of math here, <laughs> there are about 1.2 to 1.3 million soldiers active in reserve in this country today with a population of 320 plus million. If you do that math, that says that we're protected by active duty soldiers of less than six thousandths of a percent of our population. If we try to equate that <clears throat> to the police force in the Union, and I see them back over there, we don't have eight policemen. So my point becomes this, as you so adequately said, some gave all, all gave some, and some are still giving. So when we talk about <clears throat> the sacrifice they made, Reverend Rogers, they did, but in addition to that, their family, their friends, Frank Hart, where are you? You lost your brother? Others have lost, I see them out in there, mm -hmm. have lost. So they made the sacrifice, but truly, families made the sacrifice, friends made the sacrifice, and communities made the sacrifice. Look out behind you and see how many folks show up this morning on Memorial Day in this community. Not really surprised. Absolutely, this community, World War II, had no draft. I wonder if many of you knew that or not. They had no draft because people signed up to do what my daddy would call pull your share of the load and then some. These folks, Malachi, have certainly pulled their share of the load yes, sir. and then some. Mm -hmm. This community pulls its share of the load and then some. Yep. <clears throat> Daniel sang the, the uh, national anthem. Basically, two questions there. Oh, say, can you see? And does the flag still wave? Uh -huh. Absolutely. The answer to both of those questions are yes. We can see, mm -hmm. and the flag still waves. Yes, it waves partly because of that small percentage of people on duty today, and certainly because over the course of our whole nation's life, that 1.2 billion or so citizens have given it all. So I said this is a community effort. Doug, ROTC, delivers. Charles, delivers. Malachi, you call on them all the time. Frank Hart, you just call. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't you don't worry about the mule, you just load the wagon. <laughs> and they'll do it. Okay. So uh, as I stand in front of this concrete monument now and, and really realize what it means to me, to you, to us, mm -hmm. could not be more proud to be part of Union, part of this state, and part of this nation. <clears throat> with, 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 with that in mind, that concludes the presentation. And again, I, I kind of apologize, the speaker's not here, but uh, that's the best I can do. Okay. okay, with that in mind, we're going to ask now for two older fellas, Mr. Frank Hart, Mr. Oscar Giss, both older veterans, I call them. And it's not wrong being old, my man. I'm glad you're still able to do it. Okay. To present the race. So we're going to try to make room for them.
<laughs> I've called on Ronnie Lybrand and Buddy Wilkes both over the years to do taps. I'm glad they don't charge me. They'd have to sell my house or something. Because they will deliver anytime, anywhere. In fact, one time at a funeral, nobody showed and Ronnie was down there. I presented the flag and he, he did the taps. I'm telling you, be proud to be from you. Ronnie and uh, Buddy, I call it Echo Taps. It'll, it'll, it'll get your attention for sure. Please stand. Uh, I have a seat. I want to make some quick closing remarks. Yeah, you're right. Pastor, how could I forget you? <laughs> ever, ever, ever. She sings too on demand. Pastor, I'm sorry. Come on. <laughs> First, I would like to thank the veterans for inviting me to sing for them. I grew up in a school where patriotics were very important. I graduated from the Sims High School, and we set aside time for patriotics. So today, thank you. And it's a thousand people here for me. <laughs> it's not small. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesty. Above the fruited plain, America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea. The last song, I want you all to sing along with me. I'll sing the verse in just a few more lines. But I want you to say, this is my country. Okay? What difference if I hail from north or south? Or from the east or west? My heart is filled with love for all of these. I only know I swell with pride and deep within my breast I thrill to see all glory paint the breeze. Let's go. This is my country. Great is on earth. This is my country. 
other remarks could you have? A couple of quick alibis. Tell you didn't have a speaker kind of trip a little bit, Gus. Where'd you Gus at? I bypassed you. I love Gus to be here. He's an allied veteran. Back to World War II. Amen. Yeah, doing your job. Yeah, doing your job. Jim Maitis. American Legion does a lot of things, but one of it is does not start a meeting without recognition of MIAs. This country, I mean, this community just recovered, or we just received the, the remains of an MIA from Korea. And I know Jim Maitis is a Korean War vet. But about, what, three weeks ago, four weeks ago? Did he? Four, yeah, good, good job. So uh, I don't really want to leave out MIAs either in this whole damn business. But that's the conclusion of the program. I'd invite you and encourage you to come to the top of the hill, we call it Veterans Park. But Reverend McGee, last year, and I, you did the Vietnam Memorial thing, I think, and we appreciate that. I, I cannot really express appreciation to all the people who've done everything, but that's all right, because this is Union. Again, you just load the wagon. Don't worry about the mule, because they'll pull the load. Scott? Are you going to sing now? This is one called Freedom's Never Free. Standing on a hillside where the river meets the sea, white crosses without number line the fields of peace. And each one a silent witness staring back at me. Every cross a story of another place and time where young men thought it worthy to give their life for mine. And for the sake of honor left their dreams behind. And for the price they paid I'm forever in their debt, their memory will not die, cause I will not forget, I will stand and hold my head up high, I will dedicate my life to the glory of the ones who had to die, I will live, live what I believe, if for no one else but me. Freedom's never free. We owe it all to those men, also to this man. It was on another hillside outside the city gates. The battle lines were drawn as soldiers took their place. The father watched in silence as a cross was raised. With freedom drawing closer, he took his final breath. He drank our cup of guilt and took the sting from death. Heaven's finest soldier clothed in human flesh. And for the price he paid, I'm forever in his death. The cross will never die. Cause I will not forget. I will stand and hold my head up high. I will dedicate my life to the glory of the one who had to die. I will live and live what I believe. If for no one else but me. The freedom's never free. I will walk free. I will stay free. I will live free. I will die free. Of 
the one who had to die. I will live, I live what I believe, if for no one else but me, I will remember, and I will stand, I stand and hold my head up high, I dedicate my life to the glory of the one who had to die. No one else but me I guess you'd have to say it's not just patriotic people, but talented people, too. Thank you, Daddy. Kevin's Furniture, one of the sponsors of public safety. Sponsor of this, we certainly appreciate it. CD Union, I see you absolutely here. Uh, again, top of the hill, Veterans Park. Scott, one of my former soldiers, former student. Oh, I must be getting old. How good I was at either one, the student or the soldier. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the invitation to close out this service with a prayer. Um, but it's hard, uh, Miss Booker. I, I don't know about who your preacher is, but he's got to be fired up by the time he gets in the pulpit when you sing, because I'm, I'm ready to preach right now. <laughs> if you were in my church, I'd have a revival every every service. <laughs> You'd have me going. Uh, and Daniel, thank you for that wonderful song too. It is good that we live in a community where Christ is still honored, and uh, we we do we're very thankful for that. Um, I thought about the memorial time. Uh, it's a time to remember. You know that uh, the Bible teaches us that when Jesus Christ walked on the earth, there was no war. Over the whole earth, there was no time of war during his time uh, on the earth. Uh, he left us, and there have been many wars uh, since then, since his ascension. And I believe the point that we can take from that is if Christ was back in the center of this country, it might not be too much war. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are so good to us, so much better to us than we are to you. But we do take time today not only to acknowledge your greatness, but we remember these soldiers who gave their lives. Mm -hmm. We thank you for those that are still serving today, but today we want to remember those who some gave their life during the, the call of duty, some lived years after. They live with the pain of war that followed them to the very breath of life, last breath of life they took. So we remember the families as well as they, some of them may be here today. They have to live with the loss of their precious loved one who gave their life for their country. We wish this country would go back to its roots and say, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy precious name. But God, as we close out this time, I am very thankful that we have a moment that we could come together from many different walks of life today to share in this Memorial Day service. Would you look with favor upon us as we struggle through these very days? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I'd have to say he's a good student, a good soldier, absolutely. Tight budget time, we try to save money, so if you want to keep your flag, please do. But if you're going to throw it down, <coughs> throw it near Cindy. <laughs> so she can collect them and use them again. Again, I appreciate all of you coming. Uh, please join us at the top of the hill for refreshments and, and, a, and a large video of Vietnam Memorial dedication last year. Thank you.